Konnichiwa, Samurai James here with part 8 in the 7 part series about 7 supplemental samurai armors. This is a bonus video for another piece that I've acquired. 7 supplemental samurai had such a good alliteration to it and of course a little bit of a nod to the 7 samurai movie that's pretty cool. But there's an 8th piece of armor that I wanted to show you so without further ado here it is. This is a Manchira. Now what is this? This is a vest that has all of this hexagonal stitching, and inside of this stitching are Kikogani plates, those steel plates that protect you. So what is a Manchira, and why did I save this for a separate video? Well, because this actually can replace a few pieces of supplemental armor, whereas the seven that I covered in the original video series are all designed to potentially be worn at the same time. This one would replace a few others. If you've seen that other series on the Tate Eri, there is the Kikogani on the standing collar there. It comes out over the shoulders. And we also covered the Kikogani Obi that I have. It protects in between the lacing for the gap in between the upper plates and the Kusazuri, what they call the Yurugi Ito, the suspensory lacing. It also protected there. Well, this replaces those, plus in some cases could also replace the Wakabiki, which were the plates that cover supplemental up underneath of the armpit. If you see this, it's got a standing collar that's Kikogani all the way around. We have this that goes out all the way to protect the shoulders. And we have this that comes down in Maikusazuri, starts right around here. So this is a beautiful piece that could replace multiple things. So what are we able to actually replace with this? Well, we have the Kikogani collar here and it comes out. So this replaces the Tate Eri. If this was cut a little bit higher, it would replace the Wakabiki. Since this is steel plate, it's able to actually move on those six individual planes because they're not riveted together. So it has some flexibility. It can be brought up higher than a regular plate. If it came down a bit lower, it would also provide a replacement for the Kusari Obi that would be protecting in the suspense relation. Now the Manchira can be worn underneath of a kimono or something else to have a discrete form of armor. Or if you wanted a bunch of extra protection on top of your regular armor, you could wear this with the dough over top. Obviously the trade-off of that comes with you have an extra layer of bulk and you have some more weight to it since it's a full vest rather than individual wakabiki, tati eri, and belt. There is some more weight to it. It's not five times as much or anything like that. It's probably two or three times as much. Again, depending on exactly how fitted it is, how many plates it has in it. If you had kikogani on the back, which mine does, mine goes all the way around, but you may opt to only have it on the front and then leave the back simply as fabric so that you have less weight and less protection as the trade-off there, but there's a few different options with it. Here's a look at the back. You can see where it has the collar that comes all the way up. As I mentioned in the early part of the series, there was the Nodawa and the Garua, so this protects the back of the neck all the way around, just like the Tati Eri does, so it would be a full replacement for that particular type of extra armor. Now, if you were wearing something like this, then you would most likely not have Tate Eri on the armor too because it's redundant and adds extra bulk to another layer that you don't really need. So this could be worn and you could actually get rid of the Tate Eri off there and just have the Watagami straps because this is providing the same function. Now you might be wondering, what are these laces for up here? Well, you can actually tie your Kote to it if you wanted to wear this instead of a doe. This would give you a point to tie your Kote. And if you wanted, you could also tie Sode to them as well. So that was seven supplemental samurai armors plus the bonus video. I hope you've enjoyed the mini series. And if you haven't already, then hit that like button. Give me a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the samurai squad. This is Samurai Jeans, and thanks for watching, and sayonara.